I'm not sure uh, Dayton Park knows how to make a nut, but um, so a normal nut looks like this with threads in it. There's no threads in our nuts. Really? <laughs> they missed one? They didn't put threads in the nut. Oh boy. So I guess you we know got... what? Some of the things that you don't think of when you're building a truck, never in a mind when you hit the lays like you would get nuts without threads in them. Most of them have threads, but why would you make a nut with no threads? Yeah. So today we've got all of the torsion arms, everything in. So if you come in here and have a look, these are your torsion arms. What these do is they hold your axle at the right pitch. Angle forward or back, this axle can't rock back, can't rock forward, that's gonna hold it. We are gonna put on some torsion arms that do it this way to hold that axle side to side. It's not needed on a walking beam, but I figured, screw it. We're building this truck as skookum as we can. We'll put in some lateral ones later. But for now, we can mount it up get all the tires rolling, worry about that one later. And so finally we can bring the tires in. Bring the tires in, mount them up, we'll chop the frame rail to truck, and this thing will be a truck on its own wheels by the end of the day. It's kind of an exciting day. I feel like we need Ashton for this. He's a guy with the muscles. All right, great, we can just mount it now. Good, either way, hey? Remember, lift with your back. It's Canada, we got health insurance. Now this has to go in almost perfect with these planetaries. Yep. Man, it seems like you've got to suck them in more. It's not moving in, really. No. Always something, eh? Do we yeah, need it's to, tight. Do we need thinner lugs in? Is that longer studs? So what happened here <laughs> is we just went to uh, put on the lug nuts and they are not getting on enough thread so we're saying why is that why is that and tape through a chase through a tape measure on it and we have figured out that these hubs came with studs that were not long enough so we're going to have to now have another curve ball to deal with and there's always something there's yeah always something yeah. And we have to now change out all the studs on these axles to longer studs. A lot of you people watching here are like, oh, well, do you just run to the parts store? But one challenge that we have working out in Merritt is the parts store is an hour away. Yeah. So that's a two hour round trip. Two so hours. one little hold up of a short bolt knocks, two hours, knock, knocks two hours at least off of our day. Well, once we get one off, we'll pop one bolt off. So you can take the cam loops, get her measured, and then we can uh, take at least one there, say, hey, we need this longer one that's a normal size one. We'll take, leave this one on for now so we can take the measurement of where it should be. Get a normal one, and then while you run the cam loops, hopefully we'll have them popped off, and no, no. if that works. Okay, so what we gotta do right now is take these brake drums off. There's little Allen keys. We're just taking the last few off here. Pull that off. We'll knock these studs out. Run to cam loops, grab some new studs, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's Locked. what holds these dr drums on. Wheels go on here. Allen keys hold this. Oh, that came off pretty easy. It's a nice one. It's new. Normally this is rusted out. I guess this is a good example of how air brakes work now. We <laughs> say S cam. So what happens is the brake pot goes on to the right here. The air applies, pushes this rod out. This is S cam rotates and pushes these drums into the brake. As you can see guys, this is why it's called an S cam. If you look at the shape of it, it looks like an S. And now we gotta do a brake job too. We're gonna have to take the brake pads off to get the bolts out. <laughs> these are some chonking brake pads. Thankfully that's something that they're gonna be able to do while I'm doing the parts run here. We only need to bring one of those bolts to can loops to get it sized and make sure we're right. It actually isn't taking much force to move it. Yeah, we're using an old nut too. And we gotta get a couple new nuts anyways. Comment section said that they're new welded on nuts. And then another depressing bad news. Supplier called, we were supposed to get the back end for the generator here, you know, that makes it the level four fast charger. Basically the back end of the generator that's supposed to go on. He called me 20, 30 minutes ago. They sent it to Minneapolis instead for some reason. It, it, it was supposed to arrive this morning. Give a phone call and be like, oh, where is it? They're like, oh yeah, it arrived. 
but it arrived in Minneapolis. So now I'll have to wait on customs paperwork, get it to shipped up to Canada, a few multiple days of trucking, and that's what we were hoping. The cab is all done. The cab is ready to wire. We could just throw this cab on, and we're like, oh, well, well, let's wait a while because it'd be way easier to mount the generator if the cab's not in the way. We could just slide it in, use the overhead crane. No big deal. We got plenty of room to work on it, throw bolts. So let's leave the cab off. But now the generator's gonna be a couple weeks. Imagine how easy this mounting all of this up would have been if the holes were already there and all you had to do was lift it up with an overhead crane, clunk, clunk. You don't have to weld it when you go to the prime axe. The prime axe, it's got those two hangers on the top and bottom. It just grabs the axle, saddles it, two U-bolts, tighten it down, little adjustment screw for your wheel alignment. You don't have to do things like, oh, <laughs> let's change out the wheel studs now, guys. <laughs> like it just, you don't have to worry about those things when you hit production. This is purely prototype. This is why nobody builds a one-off truck for themselves. I never would have considered in a million years that the studs wouldn't have been a half inch too short. Like I said, last night we were all celebrating. We were done work around 8.30, 9 o'clock last night. And we're like, awesome, tomorrow we're going to get up at 6 in the morning. We're just going to throw those tires on, chop the frame rail down. We can work on By the time we got the tires on, bolted on, frame rail chopped, the batteries will be here. And they're like, then we can spend the rest of the next three, four days making the engine mounts. And then on Monday, Tuesday, the generator will be in. And by the end of next week, we'll have the batteries. And now it's like, wow, maybe in a week we'll have the tires on and the generators in Minneapolis. Like, ah, just when you think you're winning, just you're like, oh, we might make it. We might actually make this truck show. So I guess uh, our viewers, the batteries are on the way. The batteries are... They're should supposed be, to be here at 1 o'clock today. They're supposed to be here at 1 o'clock today. So there's a good possibility that tomorrow we're going to be headed to Kamloops to bring the batteries back ourselves. And that will be a great thing. Yeah, these are the new ones. As you can see, that little bit, that half an inch is all we need. We also found out what the problem was with it. You know, we measured it and the planetary rims are one inch thick on the rim itself. So in here is one inch. So you put two of them together, that's two inches. What am I saying? It's a long day, end of the day. I think one plus one is two. Yeah, yeah. And how many freedom birds is that? No, so yeah. These are one inch thick. Normally they're three quarters of an inch thick. Three quarters of an inch would mean that, yeah, we would have that extra half an inch. But, and if you go to steely rims, steel rims are only half an inch thick, which would mean we would have an inch and a half to spare. But, yeah. So that's what happened. We put aluminum on instead of steel yeah. and it ate up all the free thread that's we had. That's exactly what happened. The extra half inch per rim, the extra one inch total, ate up all the three thre thre thread. I can't even talk. It, is, it has been a long day. All right. Not, not a single thing has gone right today, eh? Well, let's end it today and we'll pick up tomorrow.